two, one, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis to assemble the framework for the As we hurtle into the new century, burdened by an ever-growing demand for increasingly limited fossil or mineral oil reserves, it becomes apparent and proportionally important for any viable company or entity to be vigilant and proactive about its economic success, indeed survival, while implementing effective methods of resource and energy conservation and environmental protection. Combining these requirements becomes essential in present day and future economic planning strategies and progress. Hydrocarbon-rich organic residues are a substantial part of the world's various waste streams, which in turn present an enormous potential environmental impact. Traditionally, these sources of rich caloric energy have been buried in landfills or otherwise discarded. In recent years, some attempts and methods of capturing the latent energy within waste or organic residue have been explored with disappointing levels of efficiency or economic viability. Processes which use heat in excess of 400 degrees Celsius and or high pressure typically create a variety of toxins, including furan, dioxins, PCBs, nitrous oxide, coke, metal steam, and other unwelcome elements or compounds. A new recycling formula was needed that would unbind existing hydrocarbon molecules present in nearly all organic compounds and materials without damaging or converting them into methane or coke crystals to be released from their matrix and rebound in a manner that separates unusable pollutants. At Ecotech Fuels, we are able to produce a fractionated middle distillate fuel oil, similar to diesel kerosene, heating oil, or jet fuel, with low or no sulfur from nearly any organic material with emphasis on waste or byproducts as feedstock. We have developed and continue to improve technologies that will create a high quality, versatile, and low cost fuel oil from localized waste or other renewable low cost streams with a very high degree of efficiency and low cost, using a decentralized, emissionless, safe, reliable modular process. You may ask, why diesel? Why not gasoline or ethanol? The simple fact is that diesel and similar fuel oils are higher in caloric content or potential BTUs than other fuels. Fuel oil is richer in BTUs easier to produce and store than gasoline or ethanol, and is thus the fuel of choice for industry and commerce. Indeed, diesel is the fuel preferred by nearly every country outside of the U.S. and Canada for automobile use. German automobile manufacturers produce the majority of their cars with diesel engines, which offer vastly superior mileage over petrol or gasoline-powered versions. The creation of ethanol from corn or other agricultural products typically requires more energy and cost than the value of the product, not to mention the loss of food production when arable land is used to grow fuel instead of food crops. Our process, used to make fuel oil from a wide variety of waste streams, is carbon neutral, highly efficient, and pollution free. Its modular, decentralized installation concept makes it extremely viable from an economic perspective. Ecotech fuel is a straight product, not an additive, though it can be readily blended with other fuel oil stock. It is a very high quality fractionated middle distillate light fuel oil which will meet or exceed ASDM standards, depending upon its intended design and use. These standards include ASTM D396, or burner fuel, D975, diesel fuel, and D1655, or aviation turbine fuel. Ecotech fuel has a very wide temperature operating range, 
equal to traditionally refined fossil products. In the case of diesel fuel, we are able to produce a product superior in power to current highway fuels at well under current wholesale prices without subsidies. Imagine having an inexpensive technology that converts abundant waste, low or no cost material streams at the material stream site efficiently and economically into a ready fuel that can be used at the same location. Eliminated are the need to find a suitable landfill or disposal site for organic waste. The need cost and carbon footprint to transport that waste. The need for a centralized landfill and its environmental impact. A wide range of hazards associated with traditional high temperature, high pressure refineries. Reduced our overhead, pollution, and dependence on foreign oil. Gain our creation of a superior fuel at attractive cost savings or pricing structure. Improved bottom line for companies, entities, and municipalities that must deal with waste or residue. Stabilized pricing of fuel. Conversion of waste to a renewable energy resource. Very attractive project investment scenarios and ROI. Elimination of the need for landfills with complete waste recycling in hand impact on conventional foreign and domestic fuel dependence, improvement on obsolete centralized refinery practices and methodology, jobs, hundreds, perhaps thousands of jobs in a wide range of industries, pride, and a legacy for future generations. In this video, a batch dial demonstration plant which has been operational for three years, undergoes a typical test using a blend of various feedstock in order to demonstrate the concept and principles of the chemistry and process. This patent pending process called CFC, or catalytic fractionated conversion, uses a special catalyst to provide low temperature catalytic thermal depolymerization of a wide range of organic residues waste streams and other low or no cost organic materials into a high quality engineered fuel oil that can be tailored to a given application or requirement from heating oil to highway diesel to industrial and aviational turbine applications in a safe low cost environmentally friendly and modular system. Ecotech CFC is fluid dynamic in function and characteristics. Some amount of liquid feedstock, such as any type or quality of oil, crude, sludge, grease, or fat is required in the total input as a starter or carrier fluid. The balance of the input may include inert-free municipal waste, plastic, animal or plant material, paper, wood, refinery waste, bitumen, tar, etc. An N4 zeolite catalyst is introduced to the feedstock in a closed loop circuit, which is heated via viscous friction and circulated by a special turbine pump to the reaction threshold or trigger temperature of the catalyst. At this point, the normally inert catalyst becomes extremely active and the carbon chain or polymer structure of the feedstock material begins to break down. The zeolite allows passage of C8 to C18 hydrocarbon molecules, which are lifted by the resultant heat to a distillation column and removed at a specific location relative to their weight. Cellulosic materials such as paper, wood, or other biomass are a recommended part of an input since they are a rich source of hydrogen atoms, which when ionized in the process, bind to the newly formed hydrocarbon molecule, vastly improving BTU content. Heavier carbon chains remain in the system until they are split into a lighter weight or become bound to high pH salts, spent catalyst, and other non-convertible material which is then discharged like a tar-like residue from the system. 
The residue from CFC is relatively small and like the actual amount of fuel production is a factor of the type of input. It is inert and can be sold as a paving extender or baked into a chalk and used as an inert road base or fill product. At the distillation column, C8 to C18 hydrocarbons are removed and condensed into liquid and dehydrated before undergoing final desulfurization and other product specific finishing processes. Some light and heavy fractions, those outside the finished product parameters, are typically formed. These usually account for roughly 10% of the total output and are typically blended and used as a fuel for a generator, which in turn drives the plant itself in an elegant, self-driven design. Ecotech CFC utilizes vacuum pumps which maintain negative pressure within the system at less than one atmosphere as a safety measure. Fully automated, each Ecotech Fuel CFC project consists of at least one core plant unit, designated as CFC 700L. Each core unit will fit into a space 30 feet by 30 feet, plus peripheral equipment. It will create up to 185 gallons of high quality fuel per hour, or 1.3 million gallons, based on 324 hour days of operation per year. Each plant unit utilizes two special turbines or pumps, which provide mixing of the system input, circulation of the system, as well as viscous friction heating of the input to the catalytic trigger or threshold temperature. Each turbine can be individually taken offline while the rest of the system continues in the case that maintenance must be performed while the system is operational. Additional plant unit modules can be installed in a redundant fashion in order to match capacity to a given increasing or otherwise changing input or feedstock scenario. Redundancy and modular design provide for reliability, flexibility, and vastly reduced costs due to standardized training, operation, maintenance, spares inventory, and the ability in multiple unit installations to take a single unit or portion of a unit offline without shutting down an entire operation. Seize your future. Contact us for more information on CFC technology today. Ecotech Fuels. Engineered Renewable Fuels.